An American woman who converted to Islam immediately after 9-11. Find out why. Meet her next. Well, she was the girl next door, blonde hair, blue eyes, a practicing Catholic. But after 9-11, she found herself drawn to Islam, a religion she says empowered her. Well, what does she think of radical Islam and the folks who want to kill us? Angela Collins is the director and principal of the al Rida Academy. It's a school for Muslim children in Southern California. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Um, tell me a little bit about why and how you made this transformation. I traveled a lot abroad across the world. I went to India and through the Middle East and met Muslims everywhere. And uh, the people that I met were so genuine and generous in their nature. And I wanted to learn a lot more about them. So I came back to the States. I met Muslims here. And they became my friends. And then 9-11 happened, and our entire country pointed their finger. They blamed Muslims, of course. And I had an opposite experience of knowing these people, so I spoke out against it. But then, of course, I'm challenged, and people want to know what Islam really teaches, and I, I didn't have that knowledge. So what I did is I picked up a Quran, and I started reading. Of course, thinking, here's a book that discriminates against women, does not give them their equal rights, is not fair and, and divided. But I found exactly the opposite after reading the direct source and the direct word of God. And after that, I, I took my shahada and I converted to Islam. Do you think, Angela, that um, the fact that we don't hear more protests from, let's say, normal, caring Muslims such as yourself and from the Muslim community itself about some of the outrageous uh, comments from the more, I don't know, Islamo fascist side of the aisle, that that mm -hmm. rightly gives Americans pause? I do blame ourselves for not being out in the media more. Definitely we need to get out there. However, when we do stand in protest, for instance, in front of the federal building in Westwood, they turn off all the lights and we get a, a counter protest on the other side and traffic builds up. Also, a lot of people immigrated from other countries. They have fear that something could happen to their status here. So it's more difficult for them to come out. But you'll see me, like other American converts, out there in the front lines, and we will absolutely communicate what our thoughts are. But I've heard as well, Angela, that many are afraid to communicate that or afraid to, to, to criticize some of the more severe uh, elements in the Muslim community because they're afraid of getting killed. Is that true? I haven't heard that. I think the only thing that I've heard is people are afraid of losing their status here in America. As for death, no. Although I've had my own experience where I was standing out there in a protest and a lady came out of her car, she jumped in front of my face and she pushed me. Of course, I didn't push her back and she was older. She was maybe in her 50s and um, she was Israeli and very upset. I just figured she was responding with her emotions, but I didn't react. But you know, there, a lot, there are a lot of, we're showing a picture of you, uh, Angela, before you made this transformation and became a practicing Muslim. And a lot of young women who would be looking at you now versus then would say, all right, she's covered herself up. She seems to have given away a lot of herself um, for religion we don't understand and somehow seems detrimental to women. You're saying that's not the case? No, absolutely not. I'm not sure which picture is being shown of me, but I'm sure I'm giving up a lot more of myself than now. How does your family, uh, how does your family feel about this? Uh, my family, at first it was difficult, but now they're extremely supportive. Uh, we have conversations. We talk about terrorism all the time. I remind they're, they're them Catholic, that, hey, right? that's Angela, a story. They're Catholic, right, Angela? Have any of them? Uh, yeah. Have they're any Catholic, of them become Muslim? Catholic. No, they haven't. Okay. No. Angela, thank you for joining us in Irvine, California. Angela Collins. Thank you.